and gentlemen, to the April season kickoff here on Thursday Night Thunder. 16 of the baddest monster trucks are ready to lay it down here in the dirt one more time to see who comes away with the overall points and gets that checkered flag. These trucks are all dialed in, and they're after one man. That man is Rich Wagner, the current checkered flag holder. Let's go back to last month when he knocked off El Toro Loco for the second week in a row, carrying that checkered flag right into the April season. So keep an eye out for that wild hair Chevrolet tonight. He is bad fast. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with round one racing right after the break. Them boys are down there thrashing. Oh my, some sick air! Maximum Carnage, April 24th. Welcome back to Thursday Night Thunder as we kick off the April season. We're looking at round one matchups. First up, Bigfoot set to take on Wildflower. Also, the brand new Crustacean draws up against Power Forward. Up first here in round one, the Clark crew out of Pacific, Missouri, representing the Bigfoot camp, but they draw up a tough contender, Ashley Obi in the Wildflower. There's the green light, both trucks are off to a great start up and over the cars, and I don't know who got the win going across the finish line. We're going down to a photo finish. Bigfoot did look like he had the lead, and there you see it, Bigfoot is your winner. Up next, Keith Cromwell and that monster lobster crustacean representing the Diggers Diecast race team. He draws up against Mitch Brown in the power forward machine who took home that checkered flag last month in the March season. Stage as we go green, they're looking even down the straight. Crustacean pulls the lead, but power forward come back on him. Power forward moves on. Next up, Gene Patterson and the snake bite out of Pacific, Missouri, who came oh so close to winning the Monster Mania event this past weekend. He draws up against five-time Thunder champion Bradley Graham and Max D, who hasn't been running on all cylinders. As we go green, they're even up and over the cars, and snake bite takes the win over Max D. Next up, we've got Ryan Johnson, who did win the Monster Mania event in Taz. He now rides in the Bro Dozer. And here you see now the brand new Bro Dozer team on Thursday Night Thunder. They are coming to pack a punch as they retire the old Taz truck. Ryan Johnson now pilots the brand new Bro Dozer. Looking good out here on Thunder, but he also draws up against a wicked looking ride. Brandon Jager's zombie machine after he won live wire. As we go green now, Bro Dozer and Zombie down the straight up and out of the cars, and Bro Dozer takes the win over Zombie. Next up. Jason Cook in the Grave Digger. He won the wild card event about six months ago in Wild Thing, but he draws up a tough contender. James Valencourt in the UFO machine. Stage as we go green. Down the straight stretch now. They're dead even up and over the cars. And UFO, James Valencourt, take the win in round number two. Next up, Carson Wells, second generation driver at a Wells Motorsports driving the brand new Stone Crusher Ford out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. He draws up against Chantel Bailey in the Scooby-Doo machine. Staged as we go green, they're off to a great start. Scooby pulls the lead and turns it over. Carson Wells takes the win. We're going down here to an MTA replay. Scooby had the lead on him, gets out of shape over that first jump, gets crossed up in no man's land, rocked up and rolled over. Scooby's upside down. Carson Wells takes his first victory out here tonight on Thunder. Now the MTA track crew and officials are down here now to roll Scooby-Doo back on all fours. Chantel knows she can drive the wheels off that truck. She's a former champion out here on the Thunder circuit. And least we not forget the Legends champion in the December series. There's Scooby-Doo now. Broke the right rear tire off. We're going to follow up with that in the pits right after round number one. Carson Wells and Stone Crusher move on. Well, next up, representing the Diggers Diecast race team is Corey Marvin in the Earthshaker machine. He draws up against Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend. These two are going to have a throwdown right here in round number one. As we go green now, Earthshaker pulls the lead up and over the cars, and Grave Digger the Legend comes back and takes the win. Well, now as we get set to close out round one racing, Chris Baluk and Stinger Unleashed, the two-time Thursday Night Thunder champion, but he draws up against the five-time champion, Rich Wagner and the Wild Hair Chevrolet. Can Chris Baluk dethrone Rich Wagner, or is Wagner gonna move on? As we go green, they're even. Down the straight, up and over the cars, and I don't know who got the win. We're going down here to an MTA replay. You see him dead even up and over no man's land. And they are planting raw horsepower, and Stinger Unleashed will come away with the victory. 
Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break and head down to the pits of the Scooby-Doo team who turned it over in round number one, broke the right rear knuckle off the truck. They are down there thrashing, hoping to get it back together. Didn't hurt the body too much, but they got to get that truck back to 100% to compete in week two of the April season. Scooby-Doo's on the trailer for the night, but they're hoping to get it back together next week. Well, now we're going to take a look at round two matchups here. Bigfoot draws up against Power Forward, followed up by a rematch for the ages. Ryan Johnson is racing Gene Patterson in a Monster Mania rematch. Well, up first here, we got the Clark crew in the Bigfoot camp out of Pacific, Missouri. They draw up against Mitch Brown in that Power Forward machine. He took that truck to victory in week two of the March season. Two Fords going to throw it down as we go green, kick it off round two. Dan even up and over the cars, and Bigfoot just outshines the Power Forward machine. Next up, Gene Patterson in the snake bite machine, representing the Bigfoot camp out of Pacific, Missouri. He draws up against the Monster Mania champion, Ryan Johnson in that brand new Brodozer machine. Boat truck stage as we wait for green. Down the straight now, boat trucks are even up and over the cars and the kid takes out the legend one more time. Ryan Johnson is on fire. Up next, Mr. Consistency, James Van Court in the UFO machine. He's looking to add another notch on the belt of achievements for the UFO team. He draws up against the wild child, Carson Wells and Stone Crusher. Two forwards throwing it down in round two. Down the straight up and over and UFO takes the win over that Stone Crusher machine. Well, up next, Matt Cheever and Grave Digger the Legend, that 1951 Ford panel van looking sweet. He draws up against Chris Baluk and Stinger Unleashed, who took out the reigning champion in round number one. Legend Stinger as we go green. Down the straight, now they're dead even up and up the cars. And Graves are the legend. Puts down the horsepower. He moves on to semis. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, as we move on to the semifinal matchup, Bigfoot will draw up against Brodozer to kick things off. But now, Graves are the legend moves on, but not without problems. The crew chief is telling us that when he came over that last set of cars, they rung the rear drive shaft. They're down there trying to get it back together. They've got one round of competition to hurry up and get this thing done. If not, Stinger Unleashed comes back. Well, now we kick off semifinal matchups. Bigfoot, Clark Crew behind the wheel at Pacific, Missouri. They draw up against Ryan Johnson, who has been nothing but impressive out here tonight in that brand new Brodozer. Bigfoot, Brodozer as we kick off semis. There they go now, Brodozer pulls a little bit of the lead up and over, and Bigfoot come back on him. Bigfoot moves on to the finals. We're going down to an MTA replay. You see right out of the hole, Johnson had the lead on him in Brodozer, but Bigfoot plants that Ford horsepower up and over no man's land. They get the job done. They cross that finish line first. Bigfoot and company move on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Grave Digger the legend, Matt Cheever is back together. They have got that truck to 100%. They are heading back to the track now to meet up with UFO at the starting line. And that's right, Mr. Consistency, James Valencourt in that UFO machine. He draws up a hard task with Matt Cheever and Gravedigger the Legend. This one ought to be a barn burner. You know the Legend wants it. They just got that truck fixed. As we go green, they're dead even down the straight up and over the cars. And I don't know who got the win. That was so close. We're going down to the replay to take it frame by frame. They are up and over the cars evenly. And UFO by merely inches. Gets the win over the legend as we take a final look at the photo finish. UFO meets Bigfoot in the final. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now final time as we kicked off the April season. The Clark crew in the Bigfoot Ford out of Pacific, Missouri. They draw up against James Valencourt in the UFO Ford out of Cinnamon, in New Jersey. Both trucks are staged at the starting line. Who will take home week one's checkered flag in the April season and the overall leader in points to kick things off? UFO, Bigfoot, it's showtime. Down the straight now, Bigfoot with a lead up and over the cars and UFO takes the win over Bigfoot. Going down to an MTA replay, Bigfoot had a huge lead but UFO come back on him and you see it right here. UFO by just a nose takes the win to kick off the April season. Congratulations to James Valencourt and the UFO team on being two-time Thursday Night Thunder champions. Well, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the points. UFO currently leads with 20. Bigfoot follows suit with 15. Wildflower and Crustacean hold the gate closed at just five points. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Thursday Night Thunder. Be sure to crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flash bulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face, always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, it's what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah.